How is it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of A Blast From The Past TV where we look back on a beloved TV show classics and look back on what made that show so special to begin with. Now today we have a really cool episode because I loved this show growing up and I feel like people did forget how good this show actually was. Now I am talking about the Canadian CGI animated show Reboot. Some of you guys may have heard of it. Some of you guys may have thought it was a fever dream, but no, it is a real and amazing show. So today we are going to deep dive into the mainframe to see what this show was all about. So guys, make sure to sit back, relax, hit that subscribe button down below and let me know what show should I talk about next. But with that out of the way, guys, let's get into it. Now, in the vast landscape of 1990s animation, one show stood out for its grand breaking approach to storytelling and visual effects. Like I said before, that show is a Reboot. They say the user lives outside the net and inputs games for pleasure. No one knows for sure, but I intend to find out. Reboot! Now, Reboot is a Canadian animated television series that originally aired on YTV from 1994 till 2001. It was produced by Vancouver-based Mainframe Entertainment, Alliance Distribution, and BLT Productions. It is notable for being one of the first made-for-television CGI series. Now, before Reboot, the idea of a fully computer-animated television series was unheard of. When the show debuted in 1994, it took viewers on a journey into the inner workings of a computer system where every character and setting was a digital creation. Now, I remember watching this show as a kid and seeing how different the animation was compared to your original cartoon-esque show. Even all the other shows I have done for this series, this show is completely different when it comes to visual effects. Now, funny enough, the city of the show was actually named Mainframe, which is a shout out to the Mainframe Entertainment, the company who made the show. Now, set in the futuristic city of Mainframe, Reboot follows the adventures of Bob, a guardian tasked with protecting the city from viruses and other threats. Alongside him, there are memorable characters like Dot and Enzo Matrix. And for the villains, there is a Megabyte and Hexadecimal each of them adding such a depth to the show's rich and exciting narrative. Now, Reboot was not just a TV show. It was a spectacle to watch. Mainframe entertainment pushed the boundaries of what was possible in computer animation, setting a new standard for the industry. The show's content was heavily censored by ABC, leading to some difficulties in its growth. Despite this, the show became famous during its second season, spawning a toy line, a video game even called Reboot Countdown to Chaos. However, ABC sadly canceled Reboot in 1996 after being purchased by Disney. Now, the third season aired in Canada on YTV and the show's popularity did continue to grow. Now, the show's influence can still be felt today in the world of animation. It laid the groundwork for future computer animated series and films, inspiring a new generation of animators and storytellers. Now, Reboot is a big worldwide success and is the world's first long-form computer animated piece. It also predated both Pixar and DreamWorks later movies. The highly inventive and quirky series really hit its stride in the second and third seasons. It is considered a classic example of early steam-driven computer animation. Now, at its core, Reboot was more than just a showcase of cutting-edge animation. It explored complex themes such as friendship, sacrifice, and the nature of good and evil, making it a show that resonated with viewers of all ages. Now, this only helped because the characters were so well written, the story just flowed with all those complex themes. Now, as I said before, when I watched this as a kid, not only the animation stood out to me, but the characters. I loved almost all the characters, even the weird, dumb, television, one-eyed people. They were really cool to see. The villains made the show 10 times better. 
Like I said, Megabyte was such a great villain, and when they introduced Hexadecimal, she was even better. Now let's see you go through. Now, Bob, must we go through all these dramatics again? If necessary. Then I'll take you with me as insurance. How do you know I'm not willing to go through a tear? Now, while making this video, I actually didn't know Netflix made a reboot of the show Reboot. But they kind of blended live action with the whole CG animation. And honestly, it looks terrible. I can't believe they took such a classic animated CGI show and made it into this. I mean, nothing to do with the actors or this or that, but I honestly don't know what they were thinking of making this show into what it was. Because I was watching the trailer and even watched like an episode or two. It, it was really bad. And IMDb agrees with me because it holds a 3.8 out of 10. Honestly, I feel like if they were going to go back to doing a reboot show, they should have just gave the classic show another season to just flesh out the characters even more. Because this, I don't know what this was. But even though we had that garbage show, Reboot in itself has a dedicated fan base that continues to celebrate its legacy. The show's impact can be seen in many different ways and inspires a new wave of animation, paving the way for future classics. Now everyone, as we look back on the legacy of a Reboot, we're reminded of its lasting impact on the world of animation. It was a show that dared to dream big, and in doing so, it changed the landscape of television forever. Now honestly, Reboot was ahead of its time, and not only as I said with animation, but with storytelling, character development, just overall everything. And for the late 90s, early 2000s, there were a lot of cartoons and shows and so many things being thrown at you. But Reboot was the one show that stood out as being different from all the others. Now even to this day, people who probably never watched the show know when you hear the word Reboot, you think of that old show that looked kind of different from all the others. Because that's what it was. It was different, it was innovative, it was a classic. And I'm so glad I was actually able to watch that show when I was younger and actually take in what this show was. If you guys are interested to watch this show, I recommend it. The episodes are on YouTube and they're very easy to find. Now, I am very interested to know if you have ever watched the show Reboot. Have you ever heard of it? Let me know in the comments down below. I am very, very interested. But guys, thank you so much for joining us on this journey into the world of Reboot. I really hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video for more content on your favorite shows. Until next time, guys, stay animated, stay healthy, and stay well, and I'll see you guys in the next Blast from the Past episode.